up, everybody? This is me again here, the one and only Pop Culture Junkie. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're doing a little late unboxing here. It's late in the evening, but I wanted to get this put up so you guys could see what was inside. We are unboxing the 2017, January 2017, that is, BAM Box. That's right. This is the BAM Box anniversary box. BAM Box has been around for a solid year now. They have been sending out awesome boxes every month to subscribers uh, filled with all kinds of cool, unique, custom-made items. Uh, not everything, of course, is always custom-made, but they try to make sure to have unique items that stand out amongst other boxes out there. Check them out. The link will be below in the description, so you can check it out and subscribe. Uh, of course, just go to thebambox.com as well. Uh, you can also go to thebambox.com backslash community, and they give you the option where you could trade. Uh, so when you get these boxes, sometimes they'll have like three different items of the same item. So what I mean is maybe they'll have three different comics or three different covers of a comic and they send one out to each different person or so. Uh, so there's always possibility of I get a copy of uh, something, same kind of comic, but my cover may be different than yours. So if you want to trade, you always have that option where you go on there and, and, and trade with someone. But we're going to go and open it up. Let's see what's inside. We don't want to ramble any longer. Bam box, anniversary box. Let's do it. Let's see what's inside. All right, our first item now. This was spoiled on Facebook. They announced that this would be the first item, uh, the, uh, this would be the item everyone would receive. And it is a autographed Jason Voorhees hockey mask signed by Ari Lehman, the original Jason Voorhees. If you watch Friday the 13th, the original Friday the 13th, Ari Lehman is the young man that is in the water that jumps out onto the boat to grab the girl at the end of the movie. Uh, that is the original Jason Voorhees, and he signed the hockey mask for this box so that's very cool it's a great collectible to have excellent all right next item we have a bam box exclusive pen and it is a pair of breast knuckle that say zombie uh that's really cool uh i love any kind of original custom made pens that we get in these uh, different subscription boxes that we unbox uh so that's really cool uh i'm not sure what that's connecting to yet but we'll find out so that's very cool all right, next item. This one was another spoiler, okay? We were told that every box was going to contain a animated cell from a animated show, cartoon, okay? And an anim animated cell, of course, is what they use to make cartoons because, you know, these aren't actors that they're <laughs> they're directing. They have to draw and, you know, draw the scenes. <laughs> so this was a, uh announcement uh, they gave us uh, ahead of time, uh, or spoiler, and it even has a certificate of authenticity letting us know that this is a one-of-a-kind, no two alike, anywhere in the world, and that this is an animation cell from the animated series Street Fighter. That's right, Street Fighter, it says. And let's see what's inside. Oh, nice. Okay. We have Blanca from Street Fighter, and you can see this is the animated cell along with the original sketching drawing. So that's pretty cool, actually. That's really nice. Uh, very cool. I'm, I never, honestly, I never watched the animated show Street Fighter. I've played the game. I even saw the movie. <laughs> uh, I'm not proud of that one, but <laughs> uh, I have, you know, I have seen the movies and played the games, but never saw the animated show. But that's a pretty cool item to find in a uh, subscription box. Our next item is we have a license plate. No kidding. We have a license plate that says... Uh, California plate, stay in classy. Okay. Uh, interesting. All right. I know that's from a movie or a show, so we'll find out in a second what that's from. Uh, next item we have, well, first we have a little certificate of authenticity in here. I think that's connected to the, uh, the hockey mask, so we'll set that aside. Uh, wow, this is really cool. All right. Our final item in the box, okay, is, uh... We have an original artwork print. I thought this was a real comic at first and would love it if it was one. Uh, but we have Battle Bros uh, beginning a battle between Barbaric Beast and Blood Brothers. And you can see... <laughs> so we have Sylvester Stallone, Rambo and, uh, Rambo and Rocky mesh with Arnold Schwarzenegger with the Terminator and Predator combined. And they're battling aliens, predators, gremlins. Uh, they even they even have the the little uh, eyeball thing from uh, Big Trouble Little China in here. That's really awesome. 
Uh, so really cool. Looks like a real comic book. It's not. Okay, I can you can see this is an art print. They even added this. Okay, you can see that sticker on the front there. That's just been added on. That's or not. That's not added on at all. That's that's part of the print itself. So really cool detail. Good color. Good good idea. Good concept. I like that. All we have left in the box was our spoiler booklet from January 2017, of course, and the theme again was anniversary. So let's check it out. Now with Bandbox again, remember you have the uh, opportunity sometimes of getting one of three different items or two items, etc. Uh, and that's what we're going to show you here now. So according to the booklet, we could have had either a Stranger Things pin or the Zombie Brass Knuckle pin. I kind of would have rather had the uh, Stranger Things pin because I'm a big fan of that show. Uh, but that that's the one we received. Uh, each pin was limited to only 250 uh, each. So they had 500 pins altogether, uh, apparently. Uh, we have the Bandbox exclusive. We had either an option. I mean, either we're going to get the Battle Bros comic uh, print, which we did, or we were going to get this one here that says Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I definitely am happy with the Battle Bros one. That looks awesome. And of course, everyone received the custom hockey mask signed by Ari Lehman, which is awesome. Looks amazing. And then, oh, this one really hurts. So we could have had a few different animation cells, apparently. And I see the co the cover here. I see the picture here, and this really hurts, actually. Not, not knocking this one, okay? This, this is awesome. Street Fighter one looks good. I like Blanca from the Street Fighter game, so I like it. I'm happy with it. But I really want this one now. Uh, I want two of these, but I've, I really want this one right here. So apparently we could have had either a Street Fighter cell, which we got. You could have had a Sonic the Hedgehog from Sonic's uh, cartoon. Could have had that one. Or you could have had one from the real Ghostbusters. Oh, that's so... Oh, You could have had that one. But here's the one that hurts me the most, okay? You could have had... I could have received a original Cell, animated Cell, from Captain N, the Game Master. Are you kidding me? Oh, that would have been so awesome. I grew up watching that show. I miss that show. It was awesome. Uh, I have it on DVD. It's really become kind of a cult following, uh, or cult, you know, show... Uh, in the last several years, but the show itself was awesome because it was Nintendo's, you know, first uh, morning cartoon show, anything like that. But this was before uh, this. I really believe that came out before the Mario Brothers show came out. Uh, so yeah, that that hurts. Okay, and finally, the last item uh, was the uh, license plate, and I'm sure some of you already know what this is or know what it's from. Uh, but apparently, we could have had one of three different uh, license plates. We could have had one that said Nervous from Ferris Bueller. We could have had one that said Knight from Knight Rider, which would have been awesome. Or Stay in Classy, which was from Anchorman 2, which I have not seen yet. I know, forgive me, but I have not watched that one yet. Uh, but yeah, so there is everything that was in the box. What do you think? Give me some comments below what you thought of, the, of everything. Uh, if you did enjoy the unboxing, of course, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, here's, by the way, next month's theme if you want to subscribe. Uh, next month's theme is 90s, so you got, uh, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Nintendo, Rubik's Cube, so who knows what, what they have in store for, uh, for next month, but, uh, this was, uh, this was a good box, uh, had some good stuff in it, a good variety, and I like it. Uh, so there. Thanks, uh, again, everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you, uh, have not done so yet, please hit that subscribe button so you can check out all my previous unboxings from BAM and others, and you can be in the know when I have new ones coming. Also, make sure you always follow along with me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, okay? Make sure you follow there. And finally, I want to send out another shout-out that there is still plenty of time to enter into my latest Pop Culture Junkie giveaway contest. That's right, we still have a new contest going on right now. All you got to do is send me a postcard to my P.O. Box. The P.O. Box address is in the description of all my videos. Send me a postcard of your choosing, and there's a couple of questions to fill out and uh, put on there. Uh, there is a video out there. You can go to my Pop Culture Junkie giveaway postcard giveaway contest uh, video. Uh, you can check it out on Facebook and on uh, Twitter as well. You can find it and uh, be entered in the contest. It's a free contest. All you got to do is just send me a postcard, okay? That's all you got to do. And it's worldwide. Anyone out there can, can be a part of it. So I've already had some cards come in, and they're hilarious and awesome, and I can't wait to see what other uh, creative ones come in. All right, guys, gals, thank you so much for sticking around to watch this. I appreciate the time you took out of your day to check out my unboxing. Until next time, I'm the one only Pop Culture Junkie. I'm signing out.